So now that we have discussed about various topics and the properties related to the polynomials, now let's recap with the division algorithm which we have already discussed in the lower classes for two different numbers. Now in this session, because we are discussing about polynomials, we are going to discuss deeply on how division alg algorithm applies for polynomials. So the topic of the day is division algorithm for polynomials. Division algorithm for polynomials. is what we are going to discuss on. So division algorithm for polynomials is going to continue with some of the numbers we are going to discuss as recap of the lower class sessions in understanding more importantly on the division algorithm. So for example, I take phi divided by 3. So when I divide 3 with 5, I call this as dividend and I call this as divisor because this is the one I am dividing with 5. <coughs> so when I divide the number 5 with 3, we generally do, do it with the division method as we all know. By taking this 3 ones, 3, then the remainder is 2. So we have a very good relation connecting the 5, the 1, the 2 and 3 which is called the division algorithm. For this we always see that the number 5 which is the dividend is obtained by multiplying this with this 3 times of 1 plus 2. So any numbers you divide in this universe if they are divided with 5 divided by 3 or any number divided by another number then I get that number in the numerator is 3 times of 1 plus 2 is what is division algorithm. More responsibly we write this as dividend is divisor into 1 which is the coefficient and 2 which is called the remainder. This is called the quotient and this is called the remainder. This is called the dividend and this is called the divisor. So each of them relates to dividend is always equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder which is called the division algorithm for the numbers. Let's see if this division algorithm applies even for the polynomials. The topics, the topic which we are discussing is about polynomials. <coughs> this is also read as A is equal to BQ plus R. Is how we understand the division algorithm where R is greater than or equal to 0 and 0 less than R less than B <coughs> is what is related. So a remainder is always less than B and at the most greater than or equal to 0 but cannot be negative at the most 0. So this entirely forms a division algorithm for numbers of course but let's see if this similar division algorithm applies even for polynomials. Say if I take for example as I have taken here 5 divided by 3. <coughs> Let me take x squared plus 5x plus 6 divided by x plus 2. Now I am dividing x plus 2 to do this polynomial, quadratic polynomial x squared plus 5x plus 6. So clearly this is the dividend and this is the divisor polynomial as you compare with 5 and 3. This stands for 5 and this for 3. Therefore, this is the dividend and this is the divisor. The dividend and 
the divisor. So when we want to verify for the division algorithm, so let's divide one polynomial with the other polynomial. So the division leads to understanding that when I divide x squared plus 5x plus 6 with x plus 2, then let's see what will be the quotient here and the remainder down. So initially, because the highest power here is 2, being the quadratic polynomial, I have the power as 1. So I multiply with x, which is in short to make this x squared. So when I just put x here, I'm going to multiply this with x plus 2 so that x times of x is x squared and x times of 2 is 2x is how we proceed in division of the polynomials. <coughs> now here when I subtract this gets cancelled and 5x minus 2x I get it as 3x with 6 carried forward down as plus 6. <coughs> Similarly this has to be filled with adding something here so that I multiply I get this. Now because I have 3 as the coefficient of x and coefficient of x here is 1 I add 3 out here because 3 times of x is 3x similarly 3 times of 2 is 6 is how I get this. Then I subtract so that I get the remainder as 0 in case of this and the quotient is x plus 3. So in order that I apply the division algorithm in case of this polynomial, then my division algorithm should make me verify that <coughs> <coughs> dividend should be equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder is how I verify the divisor dividend and the quotient of this. So my dividend being x squared plus 5x plus 6 must be equal to when I multiply the quotient to this plus this should lead to the identity. So let's take an identity where I want to prove the left hand side equal to the right hand side. My divisor is x plus 2 which is obtained from there and my quotient is x plus 3 which I substitute here. Then my remainder is nothing but 0 which is nothing but the division algorithm which I have applied. A equals BQ plus R. Then in this case, my next identity leads to multiplying this so that I get x squared plus 5x plus 6 plus 0, which is again 5x plus 6 when multiplied with this equation. Therefore, clearly I see that the left hand side and the right hand side are identically equal. Therefore, division algorithm holds for even holds for polynomials too. So division algorithm holds even for polynomials is what we conclude by considering dividend and the divisor <coughs> and division of one polynomial with other polynomial thus leading to the proof. So division algorithm applies even for polynomials not only for the numbers is how we understand the division algorithm connected with polynomials. <coughs>